majority of the diesel engines, uh, marine diesel engines, they have a, the control, the control panel, the control box, uh, remote control panel, remote control box like this, located in, it's not, it's not necessary uh, over the engine. Probably over the engine, you have another small control box with other couple of switches, start, stop, and a preheat. And this one is the remote panel or remote control box. In some cases, this one is, uh, is digital. It's, it's not analog like this, because this is analog with analog gauge and, uh, and, and uh, momentary buttons for start, stop, preheat. Um, the new ones, the remote uh, panel, the new ones, is completely digital. It's exactly the same. It's completely digital. Uh, okay, we are going to analyze what happened internally in this control box. Uh, this is the oil pressure, this is the temperature, the voltage, the hour, the hour meter, uh, on, start, run, stop, yeah? Uh, we are going to do exactly the same in this uh, diagram. What is the idea? Uh, can, I, can, I have, can I have in the engine room one control box like this? with those buttons, momentary buttons for uh, preheat, start, or stop, or, and additionally, uh, can I have in the flybridge other <coughs> ignition switch like this to start and stop the engine? Yeah, we are going to do that connection. In other words, we can connect, we can connect this ignition switch in parallel with those buttons. This button is for stop, uh, this one is for preheat, and this one is for start. Momentary, momentary buttons, momentary, 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 push buttons, momentary, for stop, for preheat, for start. All right, remember this important situation. If you have a, a remote panel, if you have a remote switch, ignition switch on the fly bridge, on the pilot hand, that switch receive the power for that switch from other group of batteries different than the battery that I have here on the engine. The battery that I have here for cranking is different than the battery that I have in the fly bridge for the console. And the ignition switch on the console receive power from that battery, house battery or electronics battery. Anybody follow me, guys? Is clear that, that situation? Yeah. You have two different batteries. Probably you have house battery and you have cranking battery. Oh, cranking battery will be used to supply power for the engine. And a house battery for the ignition switch or for the sm a small control box. Yeah, you need to be clear with this. What is the secret when I have different group of batteries? the negatives of those batteries connected together and connected to the main negative boost bar on the engine room. What happens if the negative of this battery bank is not connected with the negative of this cranking battery bank? Can I send a signal from the ignition no. switch no. Uh, here to the start motor? The no. yellow red signal? No, because the signal not travel. The loop is not closed. Other example is uh, the joystick of the bow thruster, no? Where is located the joystick? In the fly bridge. And where is located the motor of the bow thruster? In the bottom. Ah, okay. The motor of the bow thruster receives power from that group of batteries, normally connected in series for 24 volts. And the signal to activate the solenoid of, the, of, of, of that motor, the signal is coming from the joystick, and the joystick is located in the fly bridge. Ah, but the joystick is connected to house batteries or electronics batteries. And the bow thrusters are connected to the serious group of batteries for bow thrusters. If those group of batteries are not connected, the negatives, it's impossible to send the signal from the joystick. Ah, excuse me, in the fly bridge, everything is 12 volts. And uh, the batteries for the motor of the bow thruster are configured in 24 volts. Can I send that signal 12 volts to the solenoid to activate that motor? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right? That's clear? Oh, the group of batteries in the fly bridge is uh, lithium batteries. House batteries, lithium. 
and the batteries for the bow thruster are gel or lead acid regular batteries connected in series. Gel or lead acid and lithium. Can I send that signal 12 volts to activate it? Yeah. It's DC. It's DC. DC, DC current is DC current. Yeah? yeah. So. Ready. We are ready to start. Uh, what is this? Battery switch. The battery switch selector. Position one, position two, and this is the common. Remember, in the battery switch select selector, the positive of the battery bank number one enter in position one. The positive of the battery bank number two enter in position two, and this is the output. In this particular case, I have two outputs. One output for the house, and I am going to create another big output, big cable for the start motor, for cranking. Here, you, you remember the procedure to calculate the gauge of that wire with the formula. You remember the formula in circular mills. Circular mills is equal to 10.75 times the intensity in amps times the length, the length, the length, the total, and divided by the voltage drop. This is the formula, or you can use the tables, uh, uh, ABYC table that you have uh, in, in your book. This is the, the magic formula to calculate the gauge of the wire. The gauge of this wire, because this wire will be for cranking. Okay. Uh, in this, in this, in all the, the control box, you have momentary button. You see the button? It's momentary. I press, but return. Return. Momentary, momentary, momentary. Momentary buttons. Ah, okay. Okay, I have one momentary for stop, other momentary for preheat, and other momentary for start. All of them momentary. I have a question. How you think should be the momentary for stop? Normally closed or, norm or normally open? And no, no, what no. about the preheat? Should be normally open or normally closed? Open. Norm preheat, normally open. What about a uh, start? Normally open or normally closed? Open. Normally open. What about the stop? In general, it's closed. Could be open, but uh, in general, it's closed. I'm going to explain both options. If this one is normally closed or normally open. Normally, in general, it's normally closed. What is the meaning of that? If you don't touch that button, you have continuity between both terminals. When you press, you open. That's OK? Yeah. And this one is opposite, Chris. Uh, it's normally open, no continuity between this and this, but when you press, you have continuity. Normally, inside of this of this inte intelligent control box, you have a, a group of uh, relays, a start, a stop, run, yeah, the relays, uh, and you have a fuse, and you have a board, or instead of those relays, you have a circuit board with the relays located inside. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same, guys. This is the analog configuration, and this is the digital configuration. Oh, this relay, this re oh, it's the same. Look, a star, if you see, they say it in the bottom, crank. They say it here, uh, run, and this is uh, a, a star. A star, run, yeah? You see the relays? And each relay have an LED in front. Ah, if you check the manual, they say, when the engine is running, the LED should be solid. Uh, if the relay have problem, the, the LED is blinking. Yeah, it's, it's for, for diagnosis. This circuit board have the same function than this. Okay? No intimidated, oh, it's electronic, no, it's exactly the same. Can I replace this relay if the relay is damaged? You can, but don't try it. Replace the circuit board for the new one. Okay? Ah, in this one is, is easy. Can I replace the, the star relay? Yes. You remove the star relay and you put the, the new one here. Okay. Ready guys. Uh, okay. In this in this configuration of uh, switches, switches, momentary switches, momentary switches, momentary switches, and relays, relay, 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 relays where in what point enter the current in what point enter the current the control box is here 
that element, all of those components are located inside of the box. In what point enter the current to this configuration? Through the fuse. Okay, through the fuse and enter in the stop. Remember that the stop is normally closed. closed. What is the meaning of that? That you have power here. And the power continue and enter in preheat. Because this is normally, normally closed. This is communicated with this. What happens when I press stop? I remove the power and the engine shut down. This is why the current enter in that point. Because this is the point that I am going to use in the future to interrupt and stop. Right, guys? Okay, if I have power here, I have power here. All right, but uh, I don't have power here unless I, I press. I press the button. In this moment, no. I, I need press the button. Okay, uh, what is preheat in the regular ignition, uh, ignition switch? You have three terminals. Battery, ignition, and the other one is signal. You remember? And signal. Okay, uh, which terminal here is equivalent to this? Ignition, ignition, ignition is always, always purple. purple. And uh, what is this? Star. Signal or a star motor, the signal for the solenoid of the star motor. And what is the color of that uh, cable? Yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. And uh, this one is the positive coming. Coming. coming in, this one. This one is exactly the same like this. That's okay, guys. If you don't have this and you have a vision switch, you enter here. And after that, you continue in purple in the first position. You remember? Ah, what happens when I press the first position? This cable is colored purple. And I enter in this relay. And the relay here have the ground here. Look at this. What cable is this? This is a big cable. Number two, number six, yeah, it's a big cable because it's the cranking cable. Ah, okay, and the cranking cable in the other side, enter here. This cable and this cable, big cable, have a fuse? No, this is the only cable, you remember ABYC question? That is not protected with a, with a fuse, all right? It's a heavy cable. Okay, look. When I press preheat or when I select ignition, I activate this relay. What is the name of that relay? A star relay or crank relay? relay. Crank relay. It's a heavy relay, 50 amps for heavy current. And when this relay is activated, what happens? I have power here in the star motor at the input of the solenoid of the star motor. That's it. But the star motor is not spinning. Not yet. Okay, now when I have power here, my friends, when I press preheat, I, I pass current also through this point. When you press this button, you pass the current here to this point. Ah, ah, nice. Now I have power in the start, momentary push button for, for start. And I have three relays. One relay for crank, other for run, and other for stop. Okay, I want to crank. I want to activate the start motor. Let me explain something. Uh, here, Normally, I locate a constant positive boost bar. This is the same constant positive boost bar that I have here. What is the meaning of constant positive boost bar? Always have power, no? Okay, from the constant positive boost bar, I am going to bring power for this relay in the position 30 and also for this relay in the position 30. This is the input of the relay, guys. You remember? Yeah. And the output here is 87 and the output here is 87, and this is 85 and 86, 85 and 86, exactly the same. We are going to put 86 negative, doesn't matter, you can put 85 or 86 positive and negative, and this one negative. All right, pay attention. I want to pass this voltage, how much voltage I have in this cable, if the volt is, uh, is 12 volts. 12 volts. I have 12 here. 12 volt here. I want to pass that current over there. Okay, what is the process? What happened in between 30 and 87 when I don't have power okay. in, in between 85 and 86? is okay. open. Ah, okay, what happened when I bring the current here with a yellow red cable, yellow red cable over there? 
Immediately, this voltage pass over there. Yep. And I am going to send that yellow red, yellow red, yellow red here into the signal of the solenoid. Yes or no? Yep. This current pass over there and continue here. And what happened in this moment? Pay attention. To crank, I need press preheat and start at the same time. Yes or no? Yep. What happened when I remove my finger from the preheat button? No power goes. No crank. Because th this is momentary and momentary. Everybody follow me? Yes. I need press both of them. Okay, in this moment, this and this are present. The current pass from here to here, and I bring the signal, and the star motor is Spin. spinning. But the engine start? The engine no start. The engine need another signal. signal. Another signal. No other signal, other inputs. Yeah. Fuel. Yeah. Fuel, basically. It's spinning, but uh, you need fuel. I am talking about this one, no? Okay, great. I need inject the fuel here through the injectors. I need bring the fuel from the fuel tank and the fuel enter in the fuel injection pump and after that the fuel is going here into the solenoid. Everybody follow me? Okay, in this moment when I press this and this, the star motor is spinning. And I need activate the fuel transfer pump and I need to activate this solenoid. What is that solenoid? The start stop or fuel injection pump solenoid. No? Ah, okay. Okay, pay attention. I want to send from the run relay, in the output of the run relay, I want to send current to activate the pump and uh, the current continue and activate the solenoid. Oh, nice. And this is the ground of, of uh, the fuel pump. Ah, okay. I need to pass this current into here, and after that, that cable will be purple and continue. Excuse me, how can I activate this relay? In what moment? At the same time that I send current for the ground relay, I am going to send current for, for the run relay. Ah, in other words, when I press this button, I activate this relay and this relay. Ah, with this relay, I allow that the big current enter in the solenoid. And with this relay, I allow that the lower current enter to activate the fuel transfer pump and the solenoid of the fuel injection pump. In this moment, the start motor is spinning and the fuel enter and is injected through the injector and the engine start. Bingo! The engine is running. Congratulations.